What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Game Dude here, welcoming you back on this lovely Wednesday to Dang and Ropa V3 Killing Harmony. Let's see when I mess it up. What episode do you guys think I'm gonna mess up the intro? Guys, gotta guess in the comments below, okay? I My guess is like episode. I can't even guess because then I could actually fabricate that. I'm not guessing, so y'all have to guess. Um, anyway. Hopefully y'all, again, are having a wonderful day. I'm having a fantastic day. We're meeting some characters today. So, last time, we got everything kind of situated, figured out everything, and we met um, Suichi. And, I'm ex like I said, I am very excited. Okay, hi. You're a character that I also like at the start. Like, I hope I continue to like you. Um, hey. Hey, you're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Uh, um... She not hear me? Okay then. Hey, hello. Uh, um. Huh? What? She still can't hear me? Maybe she's a, like a really detailed mannequin. No. No. I, I don't think that's the case. No. You never know. She. We already saw a moving teddy bear, you know. As I said that, I poked her cheek and felt her skin squish beneath my fingertip. Uh, well, I am so scared about what this is. Like, I don't want to touch this. Huh? Poking her doesn't seem to work either. Then maybe she is just a doll. But she looks so real. Try it, sweetie. Poke, poke. Huh? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> just do it. It's so fun. As I grabbed his hand to make him poke her other cheek. Hey, now. I never thought I'd be poked from both sides. How truly unexpected. Uh, <laughs> I see. Oh, so she wasn't a mannequin. Well, I knew that. Wait. If you knew that, then why'd you make me poke her? Huh? Uh, because she wasn't responding. Uh, no. Oh, I didn't mean any harm. I just was in deep thought. So, I thought if I ignored you, you'd go somewhere else. Facts, I feel that. Um, you were just ignoring us? Isn't that a bit rude? But um, well, isn't it rude to force somebody to talk when they don't want to? Um, but it's fine. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna induce my but it's fine habit. I have a bad habit of saying, but it's fine. And there's a whole fucking joke about gamer and but it's fine. Oh, no. <laughs> now I'm gonna actually say it in context of the story. How many, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be another bad. How many times am I gonna say, but it's fine? It's already up to four. Um... I feel like talking now. All right. Now, let's talk. What do you want to start with? Right, right. My favorite Doramon episode is 53. With the one with the security cameras and the target practice. You know? Um, before you talk about that, can you tell us your name? <gasps> oh. My name is Sumugi Shirogane. Sumugi. Oh! Not what I expected. Okay. Sumugi, the ultimate cosplayer. Hmm. So, you're a cosplayer? Are you surprised? I get that a lot, since I'm so plain. No. I mean, sort of makes sense. You have this strange but almost sexy aura about you. I see. I bet it's because you got people oogling all your curves on a daily basis, huh? Um. Kaidi, you kind of sound like a creepy old man right now. Thank you! Keeping her in check. We're fine with that, honestly. Uh... Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, how does this work? You think so? Oh, I didn't do anything. Um, Normally, I don't really like people looking at me like that. Actually, I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them. But, but lately, the more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. You're right. I'd rather wear my outfits myself with love and give them the, to people like that. Hmm. Huh, you're pretty intense. Oh. It makes me happy when I get to show people the other outfits I made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that are just plain expensive. I see. It's not a big deal. Just people crowd around like a panda at the zoo. Mm. That's so amazing. You're pretty much a celebrity, you know? Hey. It's all right if I, I is it all right if I ask you something too? Yeah, see, you see how Suichi's voice just came out in that instance? That's what I'm looking for. When I play this game, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Is I want their voice to pop. If their voice is popping, we're out here. If their voice isn't popping, we got a problem. Earlier, 
You looked as if you were thinking hard about something. So, what is it? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. We needed to ask her that. Nice job, Sweetie. It's from that one thing. Ah, that bronze dragon statue over there. I'm just plain curious about it. Um. It's almost like it's floating, right? Doesn't it look out of place? Yeah. Now that you mention it, you're right. It sort of bothers me, too. Um, this is a school, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? There are trees, grass growing inside, and I can't even find any exits. It seems like we're the only people here, too. Actually, are we gonna be okay? Are we gonna be able to get out? Um, Kaede? Or Kaede? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. Um, that frightened look on her face was sort of sexy. Oh, no. Are we... Well, not... Oh, no. That's not the right... That's not the right term. Are we? No. We're not gonna like the boy swooning over us, are we? We're, we're not gonna like the boy swooning over us. Implications be implications. <laughs> oh no. Devastation across Gamer's face when he thinks and realizes our main character might be part of the LGBTQ community, which is fine because I am also part of that same community. I'm gay, so it's okay. I'm here for it, obviously. But again, being gay, I was hoping that we'd get the boys swooning over us and actually enjoying it. Oh no. I, who knows? Our character could be bisexual, and that'd be okay, too. So, again, I'm not really, like, I can't really diverge into that realm, but <laughs> I, I, I am seeing a, plus, a possibility where we're not, and oh, God. We're not going to, like, a boy swooning over us. This could be fine. <laughs> this again? I'm kidding. It's no big deal. Our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good and dandy. I see. You're pretty optimistic, Kaede. Hmm. Well then, well people do say I'm carefree. Yeah, that's right. Worrying, worrying won't get you anywhere, you know. It better, it's better just to be carefree. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Being a little depressed won't help you with anything. Yeah. yeah so let's try and find a way out. We obtained another hope fragment with Sumigi. Oh boy, I I am like genuinely excited, but I'm excitedly nervous. You know, that's like. How we gotta play this. It's just excitedly nervous. Hallway floor one. I love this mini map though. I I gotta say. Hey. Oh, hey there. You guys got kidnapped too? Well, you both look alright. That's good. No. Situation could be better though. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Hey. Hey. Let me ask you something. You do you guys remember how you got here? Um. If you ask us, then you don't remember either, do you? Actually. Yeah, um, you're the same way too, huh? You don't remember anything, do ya? Huh, I guess that means everyone here is the same. Huh? Huh? Everyone? No. I asked the others too, and they don't remember. Mm. Uh, the others don't remember either? You got me. It's like we all have amnesia or something. But... Ah, but that's normal. Or, but that's not normal. If everyone here has amnesia. Means... Well... I guess we're all in a pretty abnormal situation then. Huh? What? That's not true. Wait, amnesia's a stretch. We're probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember eventually. No. Or could it be a group hypnosis? Maybe brainwashing? <laughs> in any case, I hope we remember soon. That's a shame. Otherwise, I'll end up the outcast. Mm. The outcast? What do you mean? How should I put this? To tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. What? You got me. Ugh. I'm in trouble. I know I must have been some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Um. Is, is that true? Oh, yeah. Of course it is. But then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. Oh. Oh. I never told you my name, did I? It's not like I already told you, but then I forgot I did, right? No. No. You haven't told me your name yet. My name is Rantaro Omami. Rantaro can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment. But I promise, I'm not a bad guy. Nice to meet you.
For someone who can't remember his talent, he doesn't seem too shaken up about it. Actually. Is it weird? I'm not normally really, or I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't have my, remember my ultimate talent. Huh? What? I'm looking forward to You it. know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what ultimate I am. <laughs> anyway, it'd be nice if we could get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. Jeez. Stop that. We'll escape soon. Um, you really think it's going to be that easy? Huh? Huh? What do you mean? No. Nothing. Just a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, all right? I thought he would be a pretty, pretty get chill guy to talk to, but I have no idea what is going through his head right now. Renato's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Okay, so one thing I did notice is A, running, is important. The school store is locked. Um, I guess it isn't open. Gotta look right. somewhere else. Okay. The warehouse. Who's gonna be in here? Oh, two peeps. Oh, me. Two peeps! Literally one we already know. That's fine. The warehouse is pretty big. Aviator, maybe? Damn it! Uh, duh! It's almost like that's what. I'm stupid. Don't listen to me. Damn it! Where the hell is it? We saw a conspicuous girl rummaging through the shelf with different chemicals. Hey! Wait, it might not be an aviator, but. What are you looking for? Bitch! Don't sneak up on me, bitch! I literally just met you, and you've already called me a bitch? Hey! Hey, I'm sorry if we surprised you, but you shouldn't talk to Katie like that. Hey! You crotch! You. You crotch rot, you staring at my tits. Huh? What? <laughs> Help yourself! A guy like you can only dream of landing a big boobed body like me. Get on, get yourself a good Eiffel. Uh, uh, no, 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 I wasn't staring. My eyes just happened to look there. You mother. Oh my. <laughs> Her voice line is literally you mother effer. Oh my god, okay. In a stupidly strange way, I kind of want to talk to her now. But then again, it might be my, uh, you know, submissive side coming out. Oh, my eyes just happened to look there. Oh, my hand just happened to grope her. Oh, can't believe it. Ha, ha, virgin. I can identify my perv is on sight, and you definitely are a fucking perv. That's why you wear that hat, right? To hide your skeevy eyes. And that's why you wear those pants, right? To hide your nasty crotch. Um. Everyone wears pants, though. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows that only pervs wear a hat. Stop it. Damn it. Leave me alone. I can wear a hat if I want to. <laughs> what the hell? Are you getting pissed off at me for? To tell the world you're sorry. If you startled me into losing motivation, that loss will be felt across the whole world. Hey. Hey, your vulgar language is uncalled for. Just who are you anyway? Really? Huh? Seriously? You don't know who I am? I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself, Mew Iruma! Mew, okay. Ultimate inventor. Okay, that makes more sense. I'm glad I was wrong. Hmm, I've never heard of you. Um, what kind of things do you invent? Hmm. I make all kinds of gadgets. Ones that let you type while you sleep, read while you sleep, even ones that let you eat while you sleep. Uh, Why does everything involve sleeping? Sure. I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. <laughs> the, this one time I invented these really stupid eye drop contact lenses at a gag. <gasps> Wait. Really? That's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. <laughs> Psh, your friends sound like total plebs. The invention was nothing. It doesn't make you more productive while you sleep, so it was a failure, just like you two. I signed a patent, the patent rights over to some company and never looked back. That seems like a waste. It's way better than to do stuff while you're sleeping inventions. Um. By the way, what are you looking, what were you looking for earlier? You sounded pretty desperate to what find it. What was that? Eh, you dumbasses in a situation like this gotta find some meds. Huh? Medicine? Are you hurt or feeling sick? Fucking moron! No, idiot. I need strong meds because I want to trip off my or trip my fucking balls off. Like, jeez. Uh, I want to set my mind free and forget all of about this shitty situation. Uh, geez. Wait, what? You can't use drugs to get high. Actually, you can. Some certain drugs exist that do that. So, uh, yeah. 
You definitely shouldn't do that. It's not that you can't, it's not recommended. Two different things. Stop it! What the hell? My genius can't be constrained to my wisdom of the masses. Besides, this place doesn't even have the shit that I need to get loosey goosey anyway. Please forgive me. So, 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 are we cool? Are you done being mad at me? They say they're a, there's a fine line between a genius and insanity. She definitely is beyond insane. Muse report card has been activated. What's up, Suichi? He's been quiet as ever since Miu mentioned his hat. Does he not like to talk about it? We're gonna talk to him, I guess. He's quiet now. Maybe he doesn't like when people talk about his hat. Miu's the only one in here. Would you like to leave? Sure. This cast is so fun, like, so far. I've liked this cast is, I'm here for this cast. Like, this is a great introductory to the cast members. Oh, we got two people. This is a dining hall. A dining hall definitely makes this place feel more like a school. But this place called Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, I doubt it's anything like a typical school. Yeah, so we're stuck here. Um, yeah, what does it look like? Uh, but don't be scared. I'm sure we'll be out of this place in a jiffy. No. I'm not scared. It's it's just a pain. Something like this won't make me panic because I'm a mage. Huh? A mage? Hmm. Huh, that's right. I haven't told you guys yet. Prepare to be amazed. Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeno, the ultimate mage. Himiko Yumeno. But I'm officially called the ultimate magician. Okay. I see. Oh, so you're a magician. You shouldn't you should have said that from the start. Hmm. I mean, it does make sense that since magic doesn't exist. It doesn't even make sense though, since magic doesn't exist. Uh, magic does exist. Huh? Huh? I because I'm a mage. Um. You're a magician, right? No. Only on paper. Okay. I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. I'm actually a mage. Huh? Just a rouge. Uh. You guys might not know them, but there's a group called Magic Castle, also known as the Hall of Magicians. It's where the world's magic lovers gather. I I was the youngest person to ever win their Magician of the Year award. I see. That's pretty cool. Cut it out. It's all a ruse. Why you? They keep, they're keeping my magic a secret by discussing it as tricks, or disguising it as tricks. Because of this ruse, I became famous all over the world for performing tricks. Yeah. But I'm not a magician, and I'm a mage. Nobody believes um. me. There, there, don't be sad. Hey. Well, you could show us your magic, and then we would believe that's you. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Help us out with your magic. Take us back to where we were originally. No. Magic isn't all powerful. I can only do so much, you know. Hmm. Oh, I see. Then what can you do? You're right. I can choose the card you picked, pull out coins, release doves. Yeah. If I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. Those are just ordinary magic tricks. He he goes report card has been updated. I'm yelling so I can build up my spirit energy. Don't you know you can unlock your brain's full potential by yelling and build up a spirit of, or to build up spirit energy? That's... I've heard that from pro athletes do that. It's supposed to help you focus. Yes. I must be prepared for combat at all times, just in case someone tries to attack me. I will protect myself with Neo Akito. Huh? All the ultimate fighter. Akito, the near. Oh yes. Yes. I'm Tango Javashira. Yeah. The ultimate Aikido master. I'm okay with that. I see. Aikido is, from what I remember, I want to say it's actually typically used for self-defense. So, I'm honestly down. I'm down for having an Aikido master here. If I'm if I'm remem remembering what Aikido is or the premise of Aikido. Oh, I always imagine Aikido masters to be huge, burly guys. But you're so cute. Um... Cute? <laughs> ah, stop it. I, I'm not cute. 
My face crinkles when I suck down a shake, and when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out. Mm. Uh, I see. But I think you're cute. Right, Suichi? Uh, okay. Uh oh, all right. Huh? What's the matter? Your face looks really intense now. I don't like getting praised by Jing. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> okay. I don't like getting praised by degenerate males. Mm. Degenerate males. You mean men? Are you uncomfortable around them? Yes! That It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If a degenerate tries to touch me, my reflex to, is to grab them and throw them across the room. Yeah. You're right. That's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. Hey! Oh, by the way, what is this Neo Aikido you mentioned? That's right! Neo Aikido is the original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. So, your Aikido is self-taught. Teneko's report card has been updated. I feel bad, sweet. She's getting freaking beat up in every turn right now. Like, we need to go find people that hmm. Suichi can, like, um, uh, vibe with. It seems like this place has all the facilities you'd expect, but it's covered in overgrowth. Could that mean it's been abandoned for a long time? Very well could be. Good point. Like I feel bad because he seems he's 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 kind of being the odd duck, and I just I guess being a detective will kind of get you that. But end of the hallway, but we can go past it. I do like that I'm remembering the run mechanic though. <laughs> click click, and this is a door that's locked. You're Looks right. Like... I don't know the reaction voice. Like, I still need to, like, I hope we can learn what that does. I'm assuming it's not that necessary, but the gym. Is this the gym? Oh, it's locked! It won't open. We can't go into the gym. Why? Uh... Hmm. What's the matter, Suichi? No. Ah, it's nothing. I just feel strange. Uh... Strange? How so? Uh, okay. Like, deja vu. I feel like we've been here before. Could it be? We might be caught up in something even stranger than we imagined. Mm. Well, it's natural to feel unsettled when we know so little about what's going on. Yeah. Well, we'll probably be fine. Um. What makes you say that? Because. Because we have 16 ultimate students on our side. As long as we work together as friends, I just know nothing bad will happen. Friends? So true. Like, you can't really say anything about, oh, we're friends now. Oh, we're, we're gonna be fine. Everything will be okay. It's like, well, we don't quite know that yet. Like, optimism is great. But I am definitely under the classification of a realist. Uh, I think this is why I vibe with, like, Kyoko's and the people of the world in that regard. Because, yeah, like... Is this the direction we came from? Wait, Shichi. down to the basement. What should we do? You wanna head down? Hmm. I don't know. The basement might be dangerous. Is this this place is full of mysteries? That's right. Let's proceed with caution. With you at the front. Uh, okay. I, so, so I'm in front. I see. With hesitant, with hesitant Suichi leading the way, we carefully made our way downstairs. Basement. Um. Uh, it doesn't look very dangerous to me. Really? Oh well, some dangers are hidden. Where can't where you can't see. I see. Suichi, you got quite the imagination, don't you? No. No, I just think you're not considering how dangerous this could be. <laughs> yeah, maybe, but we should look around the basement here too. Right? There might be an exit. Oh, but we should be careful. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. I do love how the dialogue is uh, like structured. Because it's very easy for me to follow, though. It's very e So far, it's been very easy to, like, oh, I know what character's talking. And I, I do enjoy that a lot. Especially from a content creation perspective. That is so helpful to me. Huh? Huh? This looks like a game room. But this is a school, right? It's a normal for a school to have a, its own... Is it normal to have a, its own, a school to have its own game well. room? Certainly it is strange. What now? Sheesh, what a strange place. 
Uh, when I heard we were trapped here, we didn't expect we'd have a game room. Um, um are we really trapped here? There must be an exit, right? We've still got a ways to go. Isn't that what you guys were walking around for? Then figure it out yeah. yourself. Oh, okay. However, we may be trapped, but it's pretty cool here compared to the prison anyway. Huh? Prison? What? But you're an ultimate student, aren't you? That's an old mm. story. Ryoma Hoshi, the man called the ultimate tennis pro, no longer exists. Ooh! Ultimate tennis pro. And nothing more than his empty shell. Ah. Oh. Ryoma Hoshi, really? I've seen him in the newspaper. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down the mafia. Huh? You took down the mafia all by yourself? If I remember correctly. The paper said he shot them through the head with his tennis skills and an iron ball. The hell? Really? <laughs> hmm. So you do know that much already? Well, what do you think of a loser before you who used his talent to kill? Um. But why would you throw away your future like that? Jeez. Hmm. Because I didn't need a future anymore. Huh? No. No. It's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. More important. Anyway, I'm warning you. It is dangerous to walk up to a killer like me. As he said that, he turned his back to us. Ryoma's report card has been updated. Again, I, I'm liking these characters a lot. Oh, library. Who would be in the library? I thought that uh, Sumiki would be in there, but she was not. As I opened the door, I suddenly gagged from the musty smell of old books. Hmm. Is this the library? You're right. These book there are books all over the place, but it doesn't seem very organized. <gasps> oh, does that bother you? Are you a neat freak, Suichi? No. No. <laughs> it's just. I was wondering, or wondering if someone was here using it before us. Huh? Huh? Someone? No. Oh, it's nothing. Let's just investigate for now. Not what I meant. Hey. Um, are you an ultimate student too? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Huh? Is that? Sure. She doesn't talk much. I. I'm, Kaiyeti. The ultimate pianist? I'm... I am Suichi, and I am the ultimate detective, I suppose. Jeez. Jeez. Not suppose you are the ultimate detective, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Um. And what about you? Maki Harukawa, ultimate child caregiver. Not what I would expect! Okay! Not at all what I would expect! I see. Ultimate child caregiver, huh? <sighs> are you surprised... You don't look like... Surprised? I don't look like someone who would like kids, do I? No, huh? you don't. Like, straight up. Nope. Uh, yep, that I'm just in the, the same boat. That's right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. Ah. Um. But if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Kids are weird. They come down, come to me on their own. I'm not good at taking care of them. I'm not friendly mm -hmm. either. But they say kids are intuitive if they like you that much. Hey. Then you probably tell how loving you really are. Mm-hmm. Maki. Yeah. This must be it. You've been chosen a perfect career for yourself. That's wrong. It wasn't cho my choice to begin with. Huh? Huh? What do you mean by that? So what? Nothing. I just grew up in an orphanage and got saddled with helping out a lot. Orphanage, huh? Um, I see. Uh, by the way... Do you know anything about the monocups? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, someone just gotta be controlling them, right? Any idea who that might be? Like I'd know. How would I know? Hmm. Fair point. Um, the monocups are definitely involved in our situation, though. Minute. Hey, boy detective, shouldn't you have figured out what's going on already? Huh? What? Um. Well, he is a detective, not a god, so he can't know everything. Yeah. I mean, who cares about stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. Well. Seriously, do you think we can escape? Abducting ultimates from across the country would require massive resources and planning. What makes you think a group of capable or capable of that would just let us walk out of here? That's not true. If they end this, we will. I know we can do it if we work together. What? Work together with strangers? You naive fool! You think you can end this so easily? 
Maki's report card has been updated. Oh, she just left. As our conversation finished, she quickly headed out of the library. Okay, she is not a social butterfly. Hmm. That was kind of odd. She didn't even seem like an ultimate character. Jeez. Jeez, don't say that. And I agree, though. Like, that's the problem. It's like, I agree with where he's coming from. Would you like to leave? Yes. Who are we going to go see next? I don't know. But, like, I agree. It's, 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 I mean, but introvert, you could be introverted. Like, it's a thing. I am, too, so. Oh, there's two entrances to the library. Is that even going to do me any good? It does not. Both entrances took me to the same place. That's a little awkward. Thud. Huh? huh? Um. What's wrong? Um. This door barely opens. A crack was. Was it poorly built? I see. Well, nothing can be done about it. Let's search somewhere else. Hmm. Classroom that I completely miss. Watch you watch there somebody watch there be somebody in here too. I I'm totally willing to garner that. There's two people in here. Wow, hey. I Hey, wait for me. Please stop. Please stop. Don't come any closer. That boy in white is chasing the other boy in the funny clothes. What's happening here? Come on, wait up! Let me touch your body a little. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. Huh? Wait, a robot? What is it? What is it? Are you another robophobe? That's enough. Are you recording? I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic remarks, I will see you in court. Hey. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for reals a robot? No. Are you one of the monocubs? Please stop! Do not compare me to those toys. I am not just any old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kibo. Kibo. Um. Ultimate robot? Hmm. That's not fair. You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself too. Yeah. Um, go ahead. I'm Kokichioma, the ultimate supreme leader. A robot and a supreme leader? Neither of them make any by sense. The way. Oh, by the way, I've learned the hard way that robots' breath smells like gasoline. How rude! My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is not You're funny. You're not funny. Right? Of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Do not mock me. I have studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. I think you should have just watch stand-up comedy instead of studying um, it. Plus, I may have an appearance of a robot, but I am a high school student just like you. Huh? You're a high school student? Yeah. I was created by Professor I Itabashi, the leading authority in the field of robots. He installed me with a strong AI capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. That is why at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. Like I was, I was like a baby, but Professor raised me like I was one of his own child. He taught me so many things until I finally he enrolled me in high school. How about this? And now I stand here before you all. See, I'm just like everyone hey. else. Hey, do robots have dicks? Hey! Please do not ask ridiculous questions. <laughs> <laughs> I only ask because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. Well, I can see how being a robot might be enough to be called the ultimate robot. Um. Hey, Kokichi or. Uh, I'm gonna frickin' get killed. I don't understand your supreme leader talent. Ah. Oh, I'm just the supreme leader of an evil secret organization, that's all. Huh? What? Um. Oh, I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Huh? Seriously? The supreme leader of an evil organization? Because I'm a liar. Who knows? Because I'm a liar after all. Huh? What? Were you lying just now? It's true. Well, I am the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That part Jeez. was true. Who? So... 
Were you lying or not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling. Hey. By the way, what is the name of that organization? Ah. It's a secret, you know, because it's a secret organization. But, but I've never heard of such a large secret organization like that. Maybe. Of course you haven't, because it's a secret organization. Jeez. Hey, everything you said so far sounded like a lie. So, that's got to be a lie too, right? Oh, dear. Just leave him alone. Everything he's been saying has been a lie. He is far more suspicious of a person than I am. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course you're not a suspicious person because you're a robot. People aren't people silly. <sighs> you mad? Ah, oh, you mad? Are you gonna hit me with a rocket punch? I can't. I don't have that function. Oh, oh man, you're boring. What a weird boy. He's like a mischievous little kid. No time to be joking around unless he's really an evil supreme leader. Kokichi and Kibo's report cards have been updated based on your experience with them. Well. Let me figure out the next place I gotta go. Um, and then... We all, I think, take and start off the next episode with wherever our next place is. That sounds like a good idea. But, so, I guess we can kind of recap what we have learned so far. I mean, I really am enjoying these characters a lot. I think they did a really good job of kind of spreading these characters out. Which is nice and all. Like, I think we needed that. It kind of, again, piques my interest to kind of get to see who all these characters are about, what they're doing, and kind of their purpose. Uh, because they all obviously have some form of want. They have some form of thing that they are attempting to attain here. And that's really, like I said, a really cool thing. Oh. One thing I did learn is we can go in here and see kind of all our peeps. So yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Yeah, so we're missing five, which means that there's got to be another section that I didn't see. So yeah, so we'll kind of meet you guys at that next section. Thank you guys again so very much for watching this episode as, you know, in the next couple episodes, we'll be taking on a new kind of area with new people and meeting the final end or the final group. The rest of our group, I should say, not the final group. But yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.